Hello guys, my name is Aiden Psycho, and um, the first thing I want to get, um, the first thing I want to talk about immediately at the start of this video is that um, my usual Toho Music Showcase series um, will be delayed until uh, f a, few, a few days later. Uh, that means that for those of you guys who are waiting for my um, the full song to the introduction song that I've been using for the past week, I'm sorry. Uh, I do apologize, but you're gonna have to wait a few a few more days because uh, the past weekend has been extremely hectic for me um, in terms of school projects and what I've been doing for the channel, the contest, and whatnot. So, I, as you guys probably know, I haven't been uploading, like, at all, uh, like, maybe a couple of, well, I shouldn't say at all, I'm lying, I'm blatantly lying if I said that, but, um, I haven't been uploading on a regular uh, basis like I usually would, um, like, I think if you guys paid attention to my channel, I would upload, like, bunches of videos, mainly related to the uh, KNT contest, and um, I will be uploading those videos later later on this week, but I just have so many videos on my backlog that I haven't been able to put on schedule upload that they, need, they take priority first, and, um, yeah. That is what's going on. Uh, the new uh, Toho Music Showcase episode will be coming out Wednesday uh, at 5 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, uh, same time, uh, but it's just going to be moved two days uh, later. So, we'll see until... Actually, actually, I lied. Um, I, I actually don't know when uh, Toho Music Showcase is going to come out because uh, I've already uploaded lots of videos with the same intro right now. So, um... To upload another uh, Toe Music Showcase video would mean that, you know, it wouldn't make sense for me to upload uh, the videos that I've already uploaded to my channel but are sitting as private. Uh, I just need to convert and are waiting to be converted onto a uh, schedule upload. It wouldn't make sense for you guys to be seeing, like, Toe Music Showcase and then you just keep hearing the same intro over and over. It's like, what? That doesn't make sense. So. I actually don't know when I'm going to uh, be uploading the next one and putting in a new intro. I'm actually working on having a new outro. It's nothing spectacular. It's just like it's just like <laughs> stupid noob as uh, Sony Vegas like noob editing and shit like that. So it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be anything spectacular. But um, I thought you know since some, uh, since I've been using my outro for like the past month now, I decided that you know it's time for a change. So uh, with that. Out of the way, um, this is going to be, as you guys probably have uh, seen by the um, title of this video, it is going to be um, Tell with KDR Q&A session number two, and um, I will be answering some more of your questions. And once again, if you guys uh, did not leave a question before, then I highly encourage you guys to leave a question now in the comment section for me to answer in the next uh, Q&A session. And um, though your questions must be related to video games, so anything you can ask me related to video games, I will accept. Uh, if it's not related to video games, uh, I may or may not decide to answer that question. So, uh, with that being said, let us get started. I have uh, pulled up my previous, uh, my first Q&A session, uh, and um, I have, um, I'll just go ahead and answer them. It's been nearly three weeks now, so it's been some time. Uh, it's, you know, it should be again. I should do one of these again. Anyways, so, um, first question it's by Swag Surfer 85. Can you make one with only combat arms footage, please? Just a suggestion. Uh, I think you're referring to the video, if I'm not mistaken, right? Ah, uh, yes, you are, because um, in the first Q and A session, I had actually included combat arms and uh, art combat gameplay. Art the combat, by the way, is still under is still uh, off closed beta. Uh, I think not closed beta, but open beta. So um, I don't know when they'll they'll start up again. But back in like three weeks ago, uh, Arctic combat was up. So yeah, I had included some Arctic combat gameplay there. And um, art, it looks like Swag Surfer didn't really like the fact that I put in, I mixed in Arctic uh, combat gameplay with combat arms gameplay. So. So, um, I don't know. That's to my discretion. I'll use whatever gameplay I want. If it's only combat arms, then good for you. If it's not, then, well, sucks to be you. Anyways, uh, next question. Hey, Toho, what setting do you use while combat arms? A, at, sign, parentheses, happy face, at, what, what, what kind of a happy face? Okay, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. And this is asked by Next Gen Soldier Combat Man. Um... Uh, first of all, I don't want to sound like 
disrespectful, but I can tell that your English is not the best. Uh, so what I'm going to assume you asked me is what settings do I use while playing combat arms? Um, basically, I use all the default settings uh, except for the display. I use 1600 by 900 and uh, because it fits my, re uh, my monitor resolution uh, the best. And... Um, Let's see, I do have blood effect on basically everything. I don't touch the settings at all. Um, and yeah, though I do play with my sound on like, what, 5 or something like that? Because uh, it needs to be that way so that the record whenever I do live comms, uh, my voice is more easily heard than the gameplay itself. Like if I put it on 100, you'd barely be able to hear my voice because the, uh, the gameplay footage would be, uh, or the gameplay sounds uh, or the audio would be just too loud. So uh, that's the only ch major change that I've done to my to a combat arm settings. And other than that, I haven't really touched it at all. Um, let's see, this isn't much of a question, but it says, this aim Mr. Aimless Tom dude asks me to try Crossfire. Once again, I have heard of that game, but I've never really bothered to even try it, so I don't know if I will. Um, let's see. Um, blah blah blah, same people. Uh, Video Master Show One Two Three asks, "Any NX giveaways soon?" Well, at the time of recording, I just did one, so um, yeah. Video Master one, uh, Show One Two Three also asks, uh, "What gun do you recommend? Any guns?" Um, well, you can make any gun look really badass and good. It's just all dependent on your skill and how you use it. So, I don't really recommend any single particular gun. I mean, if I had to. Then, <laughs> right, off the bat, right off my head, I would suggest the G36E, but I know a lot of people are going to flame me for that. But still, you can't really deny that the G36E is a bad gun. It's a good. It's the reason why, like, half the combat arms use it on a daily basis. <sighs> I say that even, I don't re even though I don't use it myself on a daily basis. But anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, the G36E. Other good guns, well, UMP, L9, all the classic ones. I mean, they are classic for a reason, because they're good. They're reliable. Alex Shen 100 asks, For your friend list, do you have any more room? This is a good question, because I no longer have any more room. Uh, what I used to do was delete, uh, occasionally delete people, random people off my friends list so that other people can be my friend uh, on Combat Arms. Uh, but right now, because due to just the sheer amount of... Meh, just busy, I'm trying to do my daily jobs, and... Uh, you know, I don't have time to pay attention to my uh, comments messenger, so sorry about that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, keep doing the same thing, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I like Swish Cheese. Swish? Okay. Uh, asks, when I was playing a game with you, the EM kicked you. Sorry about that. And then everyone in the room f 6 him. Do you approve? I don't fucking care. I mean, just because you F6 his uh, vote kick doesn't mean the f it doesn't. <laughs> just because you F6 his vote kick or his rage kick doesn't mean that I'll be able to come back in the room and keep my score. If you understand what I mean, so I don't care. I don't necessarily approve. That's nice. <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit better, but not by much. Cause he's still a fucking douchebag, but <laughs> whatever. I don't really care. I mean, if a rage kick's a rage kick. And once I'm kicked, I'm gone, so it's not like I can come back again. Uh, let's see, Vince Mark Lim asks, What do you think about Arctic leaving CA? I'm assuming you're talking about Arctic drop shot. Um, this was three weeks ago, by the way. This has something to do with Arctic's most recent video uh, regarding his, his um, trip down to Brazil. Um, Arctic's not leaving combat arms. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, so next question. Justin Nguyen43 asks, What do you think is better, WA 2K or the W2000 or the FRF2? Honestly, I would say the FRF2 because if you think about it, the W2000 and the FRF2 have the same level zoom. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, I just think that I just I just have a, both a personal bias and like an objective bias towards the FRF2 because the FRF the FRF2 on a on a subjective bias is a bolt action and I think bolt actions are the, are the shit and even though the Watu uh, 2K is is a really good sniper rifle I just still prefer the FRF2 over it anyway um, I think in fact the FRF2 has a faster rate of fire than the Watu 2K which really I don't know <laughs> makes you makes you scratch your head a little bit but um. 
Other than that, uh, the FRF2 offers 10 rounds per magazine. So just by ammo count alone, you could. I would. I would highly recommend the FRF2. Plus, I pr I personally prefer the scope on the FRF2. I I can I can aim very well with it. Uh, but anyways, it's the same scope that you see on the M200 and whatnot. Um, let's see. Andrew Lee asks, would you consider playing a, a AVA or Alliance of Valiant Arms now that, which is now an area games game? If you do, my IGN is imshot. Okay. Um, I've already played AVA. If if you didn't know before, I've played it. I know what it's like. I know how to play it. It's just that I haven't touched it in like a year. <laughs> and um, I don't know if I'll ever get back to it. Last night I checked. Uh, like over the summer, no one was on. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll go back. Uh, Ratiosu003 asks, Your parents' opinions on YouTube slash playing video games and your opinion on Clan Wars and drama. So let's answer the parents thing first. Um, so before I started this YouTube business, like for the first, like, like literally my parents did not know about this until, until like, the, like the week that I was going uh, off to college, you see? So they didn't understand why they like they are they always knew that I loved playing video games and they you know we've had fights over oh you need to stop playing video games you need to get you need to study more and then all stuff like that they've always known that but um they've they've kind of gotten the got, gotten wind of uh I've been g focusing a little bit more into the gaming uh like the past year so they didn't they didn't know until I finally told them look this is what I'm doing and you know this is where I am. And until and when I, when they when they finally learned about that, they thought, oh, okay, so that's why you're doing this. So they understand, they know what's going on. They might not approve. I don't know if they approve of it, but they're certainly tolerant of it now. They understand a little bit better. Um, but that doesn't mean that you know I should slack off in school, or whatnot. So there you go. Uh, those are my parents' opinions. They they are fine with me now uh, being on the YouTube scene and you know playing video games for for YouTube. But um, you know there's there's got to be a catch to it. Anyways, and uh, the second question is uh, your opinion on Clan Wars and drama. Clan Wars, I think I've already mentioned this before in our uh, Combat Arms Tribunal. Clan Wars have degraded to a point where it's just like you can hardly get a legit Clan War, like. There is no clan war, I think, in my honest opinion, that I've played uh, for the past, like, half, half the time that I've been on combat arms. It's like, clan wars have been just, wow. The, the, this is called a clan war. Like, really? <laughs> I'm disappointed. Because half the time you go into clan wars, it's just like, well, f uh, fucking, no explosives! No explosives! It's it's so common now that if you see no explosives in the uh, room arm restrictions, then you know it's spec and uh, turret. Spec and turret clan war. Uh, well, you can't bring clan war. No explosives. Game. What the fuck? It's, it's gotta be meds and clan war. What the hell? I just said clan war again. Meds and turret. Sorry, I'm eating grapes right now. So, you, you, can, you can definitely tell that, um, you know, if it's no explosives, oh, they're using spec, easy. And um, yeah, that's why whenever uh, that's whenever uh, that's why whenever our clan hosts uh, my clan sexy holds a uh, clan war and we're we're the moderators, we always say no no spec, no nothing, nothing cheap. So yeah, we try to ask the same of other people, but we know that uh, well, at least I know that they they might not always comply. Yeah. And um, I've had to deal with other bullshit before, like uh, a few, uh, like I remember one incident where a few years back we were playing a clan war, and uh, it was gonna be Grave Digger Elim Pro, and all of a sudden the uh, other team switched it to Kill Creek and started the game before we were able to, we were able to realize what the hell was going on. And so our team pretty much got our asses kicked because we all brought like close range weapons. None of us brought snipers except for me. So that's that. In a nutshell, clan wars fucking suck in combat arms, but, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. As for drama, um, like, like, I don't understand what you mean by drama. Like, what kind of drama, you know? Like, drama could be, it could be range anywhere from like, oh, my account, my account got stolen or hacked or whatever, uh, to like, you know, clan, like, clan dis disbandment over some stupid shit. 
Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Drama is, is very, very broad. So if you could specify for that for, uh, for me somehow, that'd be great. Uh, Ray Ray 1936 how many hours do you play every day or do you spend every day playing combat arms um now that I'm in college I've tried to limit my uh, my hours on combat arms like on the week weekdays like maybe like a little bit less hour hour and a half two hours maybe three if I'm really really trying to do something like daily jobs or something like that but yeah I've tried coming back on it because college is now started and can't really afford to uh slack off in uh, school right now even though i'm trying my best but anyways so yeah uh but on the week the weekends when there's nothing going on i i can i try and play as much as i can um yeah get gameplays whatever because weekends obviously nothing's going on then that that, that means that i can stock up on videos to uh put on schedule upload throughout the week uh w q u u e u Okay. Uh what is your asks what is your top five favorite assault rifles? Huh. It's that it's the thing is is that there are so many freaking assault rifles and to consider that I've used them all at one point, it's it's like, well, I like all of them to be honest. Like I can make do with any of them. Well maybe not the M sixteen well, of course not the M sixteen. If I had to, I'd go. I'd go fucking full maroon in everyone's asses. But um, like, I suppose the Tar Twenty One isn't very. Isn't, isn't definitely isn't part of my list. Um, I don't know QBZ neither. It's just very hard because I've used all of them. I like all of them to a certain extent. Some better than others, but you know, I can still make do with any of uh, any of them. I mean, at least they do damage, right? As long as they do damage, I'll be, I'll be able to k kill everyone. Anyways, that is that. I don't really know right now. Uh, top 10 sniper rifles. <laughs> Same for this one as well. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know, because I've used most of them, or either most or all of them at one point or another. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I can tell my favorite, and it's pretty obvious, it's TRGSE, but the KNT-308 is quickly becoming one of my favorites right now, so, there you go. Uh, X Kakashi asks, how do you deal with accusations, and what year Combat Arms was the most exhilarating for you to play? How do I deal with accusations? Um, usually I don't answer back. Because here's my philosophy on accusations. So let's say, let's say that I just got an unbelievable on oil rig while completely tearing through the enemy spawn right and you know the uh, the either one person or the entire other team starts hacking me it's like oh he's a hacker you don't believe well, he's speed hacking he's a hacker guys hey, aimbot chams and um well my philosophy behind how i deal with hacking agents is shut up and rape them even more because in my opinion the people who waste their time telling people that they hack Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But the thing is, is that since I know I'm not hacking, I can't, of course, they don't know that I'm not hacking. So I can't really blame them much. But every time I see someone say, oh, he's just like, hacks. I can't help but think, yeah, you waste your time more. You waste more of your time standing in your spawn, typing, taking your time, sweet ass time, typing these accusations, and I'll come in and I'll butt fuck you about ten more times. Yeah, I, I think I'll do that. I'll go ahead and do that because your kills are more important to me than your stupid ass words that are worthless. So it ain't worth my time answering back to them because I know that the time that I'll take typing back to them will be time wasted in killing them. And thus boosting my score. So, there you go. That's how I deal with accusations. And as for what year of combat arms was the most exhilarating for me to play, I really don't know. I really don't know. It's that I have so much fun playing combat arms, is that uh, I can't really tell which one is the most exhilarating. Because every year, you know, combat arms obviously is known for the fact that it has so many weapons in it. And I love using, like, I love the feeling of using a new weapon and feeling it out uh, right as it comes out, you know? It, it's a very special feeling for me. Especially when I'm one of the first to use them. In this case, first to use them and put up a video on them about them and whatnot on my YouTube channel. 
Uh, so I can't really say which year is was the most exhilarating. Definitely not the first two because th during the first two years I was playing on a shitty HP laptop and the Commodore was constantly lagged, so that wasn't very fun. But once I got a desktop and now this laptop that I'm using right now, um, yeah, it's gotten it's it's gotten a lot better. But as for which year exactly, I can't I can't say for sure because it's it, all the all the years were fun. So there you go. Uh, let's see here, uh, that's not a question. Once again, I am eating grapes, sorry about that, my mouth's kind of dry. Uh, Mr. Swift Nuts. Ow, I think I bit my bit. Ow, ow, ow. Anyways, Mr. Swift Nuts asks, would you like combat arms to have iron sights? Now, here's the thing about, uh, the iron sight situation, uh, like aiming down sights and iron sights and whatnot in combat arms. Combat Arms has been known for, like, it, like its style is very distinct, you know? You can choose to either have a scope on your gun or not have a scope on your gun. And sometimes uh, if, you're, if you're using a particular gun, maybe you don't have a chance. If you don't have a choice, right? But the thing is, is that Combat Arms, the, the way that it plays, and, and according to, like, how you aim down sights and stuff like that, it's, it's made its mark on me, on me. And uh, I can't really imagine combat arms having iron sights because think about it. If if combat arms were to implement an iron sight system, like you you even if you don't have a scope, you could still aim down your sights. That would mean that uh, combat arms would have to also change their uh, recoil kickback while ADSing uh, system. Because if you think about it, if you have a scope on your gun, then if you uh, the recoil kickback is out is actually pretty high uh, to the point where you know you need to learn how to tap fire your gun. Unlike Call of Duty, where you can just hold down the uh, you can hold down the freaking butt left click if you're playing on PC, that is, and um, the gun won't really will anywhere. I mean, yeah, sure, there's going to be recoil, but not to the extent where uh, combat arms portray trace recoil so if iron sights were implemented then i would feel that the recoil kickback on iron sights will be way too much like it's it's like yeah there's no way so I would, i'm actually against combat arms using an iron sight system because uh if they were if they wanted to do that they should have done that long but long ago in like the open bump and in the open beta stages but uh that's just my opinion uh, let's see, next question here is, which side were you in the Vietnam War? Asked by L. Frank Q. What the fuck? Vietnam War? I wasn't even alive in the Vietnam War. Ignoring that. I'm a happy pair, asks, Zoomex versus left side. Who would win? Uh, well, Zoomex, because left side hardly active. Like, <laughs> there would be only, like, two people from left side. Versus, like, what? 32 people from ZoomX. Yeah, GG, Nori. Anyways, that's all the questions that I have for uh, this episode, because literally that was everything. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to leave your own questions, comments, whatever you want, related to video games, then do please do so uh, below, and I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of Tell with KDR, and I'll see you guys later. You can shit that.